Hello everyone. Welcome to my review of Sun Suiwa Restaurant. It is a very well established restaurant that has two different branches, one in Richmond, the one that I attended is in um, on Main Street in Vancouver. And this was a special dinner. You're not going to see this stuff on the menu, but if you ever have a special occasion, uh, ask them for this type of food. We started off with a suckling pig or suckling pork um, course. This is a beautiful um, presentation. Um, it was very crispy and um, they had it on little, um, it almost looked like caviar bellinis. Uh, that was kind of neat um, and very tasty. So really enjoyable start to the dinner. The next dish was a whelk. Welk is a sea snail, a large sea snail, and this is the entire plate for the table. Each of us got one whelk. It was done in a curry sauce with some cheese, so it reminded me of a currywurst hot dog, except with um, a whelk, like it's a sea snail. So it was chopped up sea snail, really delicious. Loved the dish, loved the presentation. This might be a little bit more common dish. It is a gyo duck and uh, put on a bed of um, vegetables. Um, really nice dish. You see this quite a bit in Chinese restaurants and uh, quite well done. Next course is the um, shark's fin uh, course. I know some people have issues with um, eating shark's fin. Um, Personally, I don't, um, but it's a delicacy and uh, it was delicious. Two slides are of the abalone course. Abalone is a large sea snail. Um, it is supposed to be rare and needs to be hand harvested, but now there is, a, in the modern times, there are farmed abalone, so I can get lower prices. Um, it's supposed to be good luck. It's a good source of protein and um, omega-3 omega fatty acid. There's lots of vitamins and minerals. And it's very low in saturated fat. Um, it's got very little flavor, but if it's cooked correctly, it's got a really soft um, texture, but it's also chewy. And it's very porous, so it really uh, brings in that rich broth. Abalone is measured in heads. The smaller the number of heads, then the bigger abalone. So um, it's kind of like a measure of uh, equivalent to what how many abalone could stuff into a 600 gram uh, jar of water. Um, and so like a 40 abalone um, head is uh, smaller than a five abalone head. So these were quite big. Um, I don't know how the big they were. I think, I mean, my guess is probably a 10 head abalone. That means 10 of these would be um, uh, abalones would fit into a 600 gram jar. Um, really nice, really soft um, and chewy, had a lot of flavor. So it was a really enjoyable course. Then we went to the lobster dish. Um, this is kind of an overall view of the plate. I'll and the next slide will I'll show you the actual uh, serving portion for each person. But um, beautifully crafted. You can see all the dishes from Sun I was very very impressed at the presentation. Um, even though they're considered an older fashioned um, restaurant, they did a really magnificent job. This is the individual portions that were served out. Um, they also serve it with um, some noodles and the noodles soak up the sauce. Seems like uh, Chinese people really like sauces and having them soaked into things. So um, this is no different and it's delicious. Not done yet. This is the chicken dish, beautiful uh, display. And um, how this works is it's um, a chicken and then it's got a little bit of uh, ham and also um, some mushroom uh, so you kind of eat that like a, a package or you can eat it, eat it individually the chicken is very soft um, but a wonderful dish I know what you're thinking why would you finish a meal with corn it's not corn it's actually mango pudding that looks like corn it was shocking seeing this on the table it really looks like corn 
I can assure you it wasn't. You cut it up and it's actually um, mango pudding. And so really innovative dish, really love that. Great way to end the meal. Had a wonderful time, really surprised. I haven't been back here for a while, um, but the quality of food and the presentation was excellent. Really enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any comments, let me know and please like and subscribe and I'll, hopefully I'll do more of these videos.